Can I ask you for directions? I'm sorry? Uh, directions. Yeah. I'm, I'm new from California. Um, how do I get from here to our first date? <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> you look beautiful. We should, Thank we, you should so much. we should keep in touch. Okay. We'll have dinner sometime. He's a lucky man. And your beauty like time because it's endless. I can have your number? No. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. My name is McQueen. Hi, Wisdom. Well, nice to meet you, Wisdom. Are you a believer in the fact that, like, you know, men should keep it honest with their intentions with women? Yes. Because a lot of times girls be like, oh, men would just keep it honest with their intentions, then it would cut a lot of bullshit, right? It would. Okay, well, let me tell you this. I'm just trying to clap your cheeks. Damn! Okay. How about okay. that? I mean, I appreciate you being honest. Okay. Yeah, I saw you looking. Okay. Over there. I was definitely looking. Yeah, I saw you. Okay, cool. <laughs> so does that mean I can get you on Instagram then? You can my Instagram. Okay, for sure. Tell her, whoever she is, I love her already. Y'all know I did an experiment on my mom one time. I did an experiment on my mom. I didn't eat in the house. I didn't eat food from the house in a week. I didn't drink out of no cup. I didn't use a dish in a week. I didn't throw nothing in her trash can, in the main trash can for a week. And it, it's only me and her in the house. And I wanted to see. I wanted to see if she noticed. I wanted to see if she noticed that it was her nasty ass that did all that. I said, yo, mom. She said, make sure you clean them dishes. You always leaving dishes in there. I looked at her like she lost her mind, lost her mind and said, yo, those your dishes. I looked at her with a little smirk. Those those your dishes, yo. Do your dishes. My mom slapped the shit out of me and I never tried to experiment again. I won't ever try it again. She slapped the f out of me. But um Hey man, I'm telling you, I already knew this wasn't gonna be a W for him. I already knew he's gonna take a L. Do y'all eat ass? No. I ain't gonna cap. I ain't gonna cap. I ain't gonna cap. I be getting my I shit. Did. Damn, that shit feels so good. You gotta let us get out of chase. Hey, yo! I got you. I'm munching on that. This is pre Let's get a big rating. Everybody pull up. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's see what's the best thing. You know what you should do? Let's see what's the best thing. Yeah, ooh, ooh. Go do it. Go do it. Okay, let me grab it. You know what's crazy about these type of situations, man? Girls who act like this around men usually are the biggest 304s. We know that already. That's a given. The subject matter of a conversation. But be careful in these situations, fella, because, man, here's the thing, bro. She get pissed off one day. Everybody took it. It was not consensual. Everybody going to jail, bro. Don't put yourself in a position like that, man. Women can change their mind at the drop of a dime. I was high. I was drunk. I was whatever. It's three of y'all. It's going to look like a predatory situation. Don't put yourself in those type of predicaments, fellas. Don't be too horny, bro. Especially non-black women aren't talking to broke niggas either. <laughs> so what it. the fuck? You're a victim. Mm. Mm. Here we go, see. Because like I mentioned before, niggas with money, a lot of them, when they get to that status, the woman on their arm isn't black. So then how the fuck are black women only talking to niggas with money if the niggas with money don't even really look at us? That part. Hello? <laughs> make, make, make it make sense. Yep. There was Snapchat, it was like NBA players and their girlfriends slash wives. And I made sure I watched the story to see how many of those players had a black wife and the only players they showed with a black wife or girlfriend were LeBron James, obviously, Russell Westbrook, and Chris Paul. I'm sure there's other players, but the ones that they highlighted, the three out of maybe like, I say at least 10 or 12 were spoken about. Shout out to Dirk Nowitzki, he's a real ass nigga. Yeah. <laughs> White. <laughs> but. As much as I disagree with some of these, you know, uh, lifestyle choices that these mm -hmm. men, I, I don't want to say I've been there, but I grew up as a man myself, as a, as a male. So I kind of see that pipeline. I see how they got there. Athletes, especially pro athletes, when they know from the jump that they're going to be in the pros, usually mm. they're six, eight when they're in sixth grade. Or yeah, like yeah. That. They usually get put in the prep school, the nice school, the school that is going to guarantee them the most opportunities in a, in, a, in a good school or possibly getting to the pros, get them looks at scouts and stuff like that. Oftentimes, that's a school that's a prep school in the suburbs or something like that or in a gated community. So a lot of these pro athletes are thrown into these uh, these environments where it's just white women. They develop this, this taste for it. Maybe that's a weird way to put it. But I hear you. That is the pipeline because that's why I dated white women. There was no other women. There wasn't like a black woman right, at the school right, I went to that right. I could date or something like that. So that's where I was like, okay. 
I can kind of find the middle ground. But then when I went to university and there was, you know, I went to school downtown Toronto, I can't remember, like, I ain't talked to a white girl since. Right. So once I had access, yeah. it changed for me, which is why I... But these niggas definitely have access now. I mean, like, hello. That's hello. what I'm saying. Like, I don't... If I was there, like, I don't know if I would be the same, but, you know, to each his own. Yeah. I got a little cousin like this, man. My uh, my auntie sent him to a predominantly white school. School costs like 40 grand a year. And all he dates is white women. What else is he supposed to date? That's all he's been around since he was in pre-K. He don't know how to talk to the average black girl that come from where I come from. They're going to look at him like he a cornball. He got the physique of a strong masculine black man. But when he opens his mouth, he sounds like he grew up in Malibu. And that turns them off instantly. It is what it is. No edge about him. He does not look like a guy that you want to try, though, because he's played football his whole life. He is solid. 6'3", muscles. It's just that he don't have that edge. Girl, why did you unmatch with David? I thought the day went well. Because he blew on his food when it was too hot. Like, Oh, my gosh. Girl, why did you and Chris break up? Because... We all know a woman in our family just like this. Man, why you stop messing with Buddy? I didn't like the fact that he wore a pastel colored shirt. I don't know. Those Chelsea boots is just not for me. Yeah. Meanwhile, he's the perfect candidate to raise kids. Perfect person who's going to be a provider, a leader in a relationship. But nope. Y'all ever seen somebody pass and fail a test simultaneously? If you haven't, watch this video. This is yeah, how quick man lie, lie man. for their Stop. friends. Doing too much, man. Just watch how your friends lie, though. Dude. Hello. Hey, Tangy. Hey, hey. Hey, Steph didn't come home last night. Is he with you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he right here. He right here asleep. He was locked out. He got, we, was, we was up all night. He, he knocked out right now. Let me wake him up. Can you put him on the phone, please? Yeah, I'm gonna wake him up. He's snoring. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna just, I'm, I'm probably, I'm gonna just call you right there. I'm trying to wake him up real quick for you. Right? Nah, but I, I have an emergency. Like, you know, like he needs to know. It's like a 911 emergency. I'm trying to wake him up for like the last hour. I'm shaking and shit. He just won't wake up right now. I just, I'm, I don't know. I'm, that's why I'm trying to wake. Wait, wait. Do you guys? What did you guys do last night? What did you guys do last night? Oh, I was playing cards. Did y'all get too drunk or something? Why is he not waking up? Oh, yeah, I don't know. He, he was drinking. Yeah, he, he, was, he was shot at the shot. I, I was telling him to slow down and calm down, but he just wasn't listening to me. Oh, wow. He wheeze. He said y'all just wasn't He said y'all was just look, watching, like, basketball or something. Yeah, let me, hey, let me, let me try to wake him up and I'll call right back. Boy failed and succeeded at the same time, bro. He looked out for his boy, but the girl like, yep, can't trust none of you niggas no more. But you know what's crazy? Women would do the same thing for their friends, so I hope that he tests her at the end of the day too. Because guess what? Her friend gonna do the exact same thing. Where my wife at? Oh, she with you? She with you right now? Yeah, they gonna do the same thing. Niggas do not gotta wash and dry like me. Straight cash, bought it. Straight cash. Big house, nice house, mama out the hood, you mad, you and your feelings, so what? That's your fault, that's not my fault. We both got 24 hours in a day, you don't decide to get um, dry and wash it. Fuck out of it, it's a see-through top. Come on, man, you thought the lid was open, it's not. It's a see-through top, straight cash, nigga. Thousands of dollars, nigga. What you talking about, boy? You ain't got no static sheets. You ain't got no detergent, and you don't got a studio. Modern day technology, we got two PS5s too. We don't even play them shits, boy. Mad laptops, chrome heart glasses, two interfaces, mad shit going on. We got a wrench, duct tape, mad shit, mad stand, studio. We got ashtray, other handy bottles. Nigga, this is Prada Cologne, boy. This is Prada Cologne. Stop playing with me. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Got a keyboard. Got a keyboard, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. All right, fellas, I wouldn't give a damn if your house is only 400 square feet or if it's 4,000 square feet. If it's yours, you worked hard for it, stunt, bro. I don't care. Work hard, get your stuff, and show it off, man, because, dog, we ain't working hard for nothing, bro. If you the type of person where you want to show your work, man, do that, bro. Forget what everybody's saying. So many people don't even got this stuff right here, bro. People hating, some people congratulating, but, bro, if you got anything that you paid cash for you don't have to pay a credit card bill on you winning man real talk man fellas 
Send your videos to that boy will reacts at gmail.com. I'm gonna get at y'all on the next one.